is ready? Oh, we're waiting for DVI? Or HDMI, whatever the hell you call that shit. What? The little plug thing. <laughs> that, no, it's DVI. Jesus. You people call yourself geeks? Don't you have... Presentations on the one that you don't have the adapter for, sir. Oh, that, right that's not an adapter. You, you've had a Mac before, right? You're familiar with the fact that everything that comes out of that isn't standard and you need a little adapter for it? Jesus Christ. Is someone getting one for you? Does anyone have the Mac DVI to VGA adapter no, on them? No, 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 no. It's what it's a Thank you. Good Lord. <sighs> Newbies. Newbies. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell he's all dressed up with a tuxedo. <laughs> oh, it started. Depth perception fail. Um. Oh, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Good luck, guys. Come on, bring it on. Work. Can you hear me? I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right, so apparently the room's not quite full. We lost some of the people to the GSM talk, so we're just going to have to be louder than that. All right. So um, It's not louder. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got AirDrop NG. Um, I got bored, decided to write a Wi-Fi tool, and this is what came out. So skip to the next slide. Who are we? I'm the exile, he's King Tuna, we're no one important, move along citizen. So what are we doing here? Got a new tool and it allows you to facilitate client control through the unencrypted management frames. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate some of the uses for it, show some of the money in the middle attacks, generally have some fun. So we've all used tools like Air Replay, MDK3, Void11. So I now give you AirDrop NG. AirDrop NG is like these tools, but much more fun. Rules are the new sliced bread. Now with enriched vitamin Pwn. The reason why this is so much more fun is you can do fun things like kick one client and leave all the other ones alone, allow yourself to talk to an access point, and allow no one else to talk to that access point. Lots and lots of fun, many, many uses. So, I'm sorry? So, requirements. We've got AeroDump NG, we've got Lorcon 1, mainly because there isn't any Python bindings for Lorcon 2 yet, we're working on that. Minimum one wireless card, possibly two. And if you want some speed, install Psycho. So when it comes down to writing rules, rules are written down, uh, broken down into three fields. We've got our action field, we've got our AP field, and we've got our client field. So two options for the state field. Uh, actually, actually, the uh, action field there, a little bug. Yeah, five options for the AP field, five options for the client field. Gives you 50 different possible rule types. All sorts of fun to be had. So when you break down into the action, you either have allow or deny. Real simple, not too hard. All right. So when you get to the rule field, you got allow and deny. So let's go ahead and give a scenario here. Very, very simple rules. Rules for a slow night of drinking. We want to allow any beer, deny any liquor. So your rule would be allow beer any, deny liquor me. So the AP field. AP field a little bit different. You can do kicks based on ESSID, BSSID, a company OUI name or numeric value, and by name I mean you can either type in Apple computer, 
Um, if you've ever looked at the OUI file, and I'll use Apple for example just because I hate them, they're in the OUI file about 12 different times. There's Apple Computer, there's Apple Comma Computer, there's Apple Computer Corporation, they're all over the place. So I actually do some regex maxing, make it a little bit easier. We'll get into that later. You can also do the numeric value. You can kick based on a single OUI. It allows you to do some other fun things. And you can kick based on any. So let's go into our scenario here. You want to kick any clients connecting to a particular wireless network. Uh, we'll use Brondo for an example. So target ESS idea of Brondo. Solution, deny Brondo any. Nice, clean, simple, very easy to do. Lots of fun. We go into the client field, and this is where it gets really fun. So we can kick based on MAC address. We can kick on multiple MAC addresses. You can just provide them in a list, delineate them with a comma. You can do the same OUI company name. You can do the same OUI numeric value, or you can kick based on any. So scenario here, we want to deny access to Sparkle Motion for everyone but my wireless card and allow access to another point that I am hosting. So we allow one client to talk to the Sparkle Motion access point. We allow anyone to talk to our access point. <laughs> And then we say, deny any, any, which means nobody can talk to anyone but what we specify. So rules are based on uh, the vendor name and the regex, and I kind of alluded to this earlier. Um, this is more getting into the advanced type of rules that you can write. So we've got a valid rule set of uh, an OUI to an any, a Apple Inc. to an any, which is actually a valid name in the OUI file, or my personal favorite, deny any Apple to any Apple, have fun with your access points now. Or uh, allow anyone to talk to a Sony. So when it comes to writing rules, I ran into a lot of issues as I was coding this. And so the birth of debug mode. Debug mode, if you throw the dash B flag, will actually print out all of your rule matching to the screen. And it'll try to give you an idea of why it's kicking a particular client. Um, relatively easy to use. I apologize, it's a little hard to read on the screen. You guys can download the uh, presentation later and take a look at it there. So now that you guys kind of understand how it works, let's put all the pieces together. This is obviously somebody who had way too much time on their hands. Getting to the basic usage here. Um, we've got uh, dash I for the interface card, T for the data file. Um, one of the caveats to AeroDump is, uh, or sorry, AirDrop, is the fact that it relies on AeroDump. It stems from the fact that I'm too lazy to write a viable sniffer. So we just parse their uh, CSV file. Um, you can disable Psycho if you don't want it with the dash P option. You provide your rules with dash R. You can automatically update the OUI file with uh, dash U. Um, anyone who's familiar with Lorcon, it tries to uh, require you to uh, use the drivers. So I allow you to spec <laughs> specify it on the command line here. Um, by default, it uses Mac 802.11. Slow down. All right, all right, all right, I'll slow down. Dude, I apologize to down. the internet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, slowing down just a little bit. <laughs> we done now? Uh, we're fucking him up. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead, we'll throw, uh, start. <laughs> yeah. No, no throw. I think all right, so we'll go ahead, we'll throw our card into a monitor mode. In this case, we're just using Arrow, uh, Airmon, very easy to use. Next slide there. Well, output CSV, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to output to the CSV. It does not read PCAPs. I may fix that at a later date. It depends on how many people complain. Um, so we've all seen Arrow Dump, nothing new. Uh, sample rule file, in this case, we are denying any, any. And the reason why you have to do this is Arrow Dump oh, allows that? AirDump allows, or, or sorry, wow, I keep calling it AirDump. AirDrop allows all clients by default. So if you don't throw a deny any any rule in there, it's just not going to do anything. No rules equal no fun. So running it with this rule, and we actually have debug mode turned on here, so you can go ahead and see what's going on. It's matching each one of the clients, and go ahead and uh, sending a kick. It's smart in the fact that it knows whether or not to send uh, deauth packets to the broadcast. And it does that based on uh, deciding whether or not you are allowing any clients to talk to that particular access point. And if you are, it will not send broadcast packets to it. So uh, 
debug mode on, one of my this personal favorite rules. Ben wrote the program to simply say, fuck you to Apple, and, you know, but. <laughs> he felt left out. What can I say? So, another great rule, deny Apple any. Lots of fun. Moving on. So, logging because anyone who actually runs this will realize that that stuff scrolls across the screen very, very, very quickly. So, throw the dash L option along with the dash B option. You can get a great idea of what's going on. It'll go ahead and create a logs directory in whatever your local running directory that you're in and write a nice little timestamp file out for you. Apparently, I'm still talking too fast. I apologize. So, logging, that's the dash L file. L as in llama. Switch out to uh, logging, like I said, creates working directory. <laughs> Very easy to use. So, now that we, uh, just to show you example what a log file looks like, go ahead and uh, at the top there, throws a timestamp, just states that it's a log file, and then it basically redirects SD out and SD error directly into a file. Relatively simple, pretty easy to use. So, let's go ahead and get some people off. You about ready there, Tuna? Uh, apparently, we're running to some slight technical difficulties here. Apparently, we did not sacrifice to the gods of live demos. As we learned last night, good old karma access points tend to uh, make things puke. Yeah, there's a minor bug going on here. Bear with us a second here, folks. Just uh, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, um, well, you should have seen me earlier here in the week as I realized that uh, a few future updates that I decided I wanted to add late in the game broke everything. Um, yeah, loads of fun. So, in theory, if I was actually able to get this work at this point in time, we'd start arrow dump, or uh, start up arrow dump, start up arrow mon, get our card into monitor mode. We'd create a rule file with a deny any Apple. So we are now kicking any Apple client off of any access point. Yes, loads of fun. We good? Yeah. All right. Some, some network foo in there, but it don't work. Let's see if we can cause some panics here by switching over to this computer. Eh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, so we dance for 30 seconds. Woo! And we get some snowballs. Take it off. Come on. <laughs> Throw balls at him to put it back on, please. All right, you can check that out on YouTube later. Put it back on. Is that 30 seconds? It seems like 30 seconds. Nah, it doesn't seem to be working. We got this shit working. Make the screen work. Eh, hook it back up to the slides. Give me a second, huh? <laughs> this is. Oh, wait. Oh, possibly. I've got 1024 by 768. Come on. Possibly, please. Oh, oh. Hey! Yeah. App success. However, it still seems that we're, uh... There we go. <laughs> go ahead, you try running it again there. No, I just gotta make the window a lot smaller. Whee! All right. Cool. All right, so as you see here... Microphone. Microphone. Yeah, check. As you see here, we have our nice Python airdrop, whatever, and uh, we've got our monitor interface. We've got two interfaces set up, one for sniffing and one for injection. Um, two interfaces aren't required, but of course it makes it more fun. Since I worked at a wireless company, interfaces are not that hard. Um, with the dash T option, we have our arrow dump file, <coughs> B for debug mode, L for logging, and then our rules file, which is fun rules. Um, let's switch over to some kill Apple rules for more fun. Uh, we'll do the allow Apple's rule for Ben. I hate you. Oh, and puke! <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so I promise you that is not common. <laughs> it's just with Apple's, see, you know, it's okay. Um, right here we have a deny any, any rule, um, and then we're also allowing an access point that's not connected, and we'll go ahead and kick packets. Uh, 
which okay. we're still running into slight technical difficulties, but we'll deal with this later. I <laughs> promise you it'll work when we release it. <laughs> no, I it, swear. It, it actually works pretty well. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the slides, and we'll go forward. See if we can uh, switch back easily here. Yeah. Another 30 seconds. <laughs> Dancing will come. Just give me one moment. I, th I don't know who. I don't know if anyone else was here and saw that nice dance we put on with uh, Ricardo. Possibly, maybe. There we go. Come on. Hey. Okay. So. We're going to plan, pretend that I did sacrifice a virgin to the demo or Gods of Live demos and everything worked uh, correctly, so we're going to laugh maniacally here and move on to the next slide. So, possible uses. General purpose deauth tool. Great, everyone else can do it. Fun. Keeping Apple off your network. I swear this works. The demo may not show it, but it does work very well. No, really all it is is just that, you know, uh, anytime a Karma AP is introduced at the moment, um, it's puking. Ben will get that fixed up and working pretty soon, and you know it'll be on a normal usage. You know we've used this at, at offices, at our office, and had some fun with laughing maniacally and airports and whatnot. But um, in actuality, it does work. You do see Apple people cry. Um, in fact, they <laughs> they were crying earlier uh, when we first got here. There was you know, a guy mashing his fucking keyboard like ah, but you know. <laughs> so it, keeping it's a straight just, face very hard to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, poor man's whips. This is kind of something new, um, and I'm sure there's a few vendors in the audience here that don't like me saying this, but yes, it is possible to do. Years ago, I was asked by somebody who wanted to be able to keep their users on their access points at the office and not any of the open ones around them. We'll get into a little bit more of that later. It works. So, uh, client control, kind of fun, and we've skipped ahead. Yeah. But So, poor man's whips. Only allow your clients to talk to your access points, thus denying the ability for your users to bypass your monitoring software. So if you actually wanted to set this up, we go ahead and create a uh, list of all our wireless clients. In this case, we've got three. We've got two access points that we want to allow them to talk to. So what we go ahead and do here is we allow them to talk to <laughs> hate you. All right, so moving on here, is it's, it's now a war zone. Um, go ahead, we allow them to talk to our first access point, we allow them to talk to our second access point, and then we deny them access to any other access points. At this point, as long as they're talking to those two, they're great, otherwise, deauth packet. Now this no is fun. really cool, this is like, you know, free software that says, hmm, I, uh, you know, I've got my office, and I've got my office users, and we have our little corporate monitoring network, and they're using the wireless network, and you know, there's that open linksys. That, that open links is good for one thing, and that one thing is porn. 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 So, because we all know the internet is for porn. Right. So, <laughs> tubes, porn, inner tubes. All right. Anyway, way to be quagmire. So, so in, in, in essence, you know, the one valid you know use for this tool uh, for I mean white hat related is you know it denies porn. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know. But I said on the valid outside, white hat reason for this. You can deny porn to Apple users, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> or with the rule files in the sliced bread, you can deny porn to just Apple users. <laughs> 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 oh, Nick Fail! And I'm not a skinny target, you know? Okay, so we've been standing up here. Damn, I'm like Teflon up here. <laughs> we've been talking all about, you know, the client control, weak management frames. Anyone who's sit in any of these other wireless talks in the past, either the last DEF CON or Dragarn's talk earlier, does any of this sound familiar? Oh yes, that's right. Clients are way too trusting. If we tell them that we are a network, they believe us. Really hard, really bad behavior, and AirDrop just abuses this. And the reason why I directly ripped these slides off of him is because I thought this was just funny. <laughs> With AirDrop, it's kind of like putting little blinders on the chick. It just looks where we tell it to. So, <laughs> attacks in use. And hopefully, this is going to work. Uh, we're going to attempt to use AirDrop to uh, facilitate a really, really nasty man-in-the-middle attack. Uh, we need tubes. <laughs> 
You didn't bring your card. Yeah, I brought my card. That's like a backup. at AT&T used to suck. Keep talking for a minute. Okay, so uh, we're going to jump into a slight question uh, here while he gets everything up and working. Or do we have any questions at this point? Yes. Yes, it works. I swear. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Do we have any other questions? Airspeed, Air African or European? European. European. You know, laden or unladen? That's a good question. Is it laden or unladen? Laden. You know, that's a good question. I don't know. When we get the tubes, we'll go ahead and we'll look it up. We'll ask Google. It'll be great. Does the, does the Ethernet's work? Does, does our VLAN here work? Do we have any other questions while we still deal with some minor technical difficulties? Um, are you talking in case they have a WIPS or? Ah, we're not, yes. We're not rogue, though. Yeah, we, we, we may or may not have asked them to disable it <laughs> for, for the purposes of our demos. Yes, in that case, um, if they do have some WITS protection going on, you're going to have to fight with it. Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten my hands on the hardware to play around with it. In theory, you're going to run into some issues. Uh, if you've got access to hardware and you want to talk about it later, absolutely, I'd love to play around with it. Anyone else? No, I'm blocking the light. I can't see. <laughs> Any luck here, Tuna? Hold on. Give me a second. All right. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know, you want me to get this fucking working or not? So we're going to go for the Jeopardy theme here, if everyone will go with me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do,
So this is that, that magic rule that will go above the redirect of marked 99 that will mark the traffic as 69 and then allow them in SSL strip. All right. So let's see if we can get <coughs> this going over here. And we'll continue. So Exile, if you want to take over for a minute. All right. Everyone understand what we're attempting to do here? Questions at this point? Will we attempt to switch between another Mac? Dance. I don't dance. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I win! Any luck here, Tuna? Yeah, I promise you, this all worked last night. You! <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, just. just uh, Rob, if you want to come up here for a second so we can. Uh, We're going to bring our hapless user up right here oh, on stage. Don't worry about it because we can't have two at the same time, which kind of. No. Works. Positive, it works. <laughs> The only thing that's going to fail us is what jerk-off has got his freaking uh, cell jammer in his pocket. <laughs> Bear with us just a second here. Yes, do it again, come on. Please? Maybe? Yeah, it's coming up. There's not enough fail. There's been a little too much fail. Oh, well, we've got to bring up the access point. That's the fail. All right. Possibly, maybe. Well, if we have monitor, we've got the app up. And we might have tubes. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm apt to go to it at this point. What? I s what? Don't worry. <laughs> Give me two. I've got it Maybe. working now. We're, we're just a moment. Tech support. <laughs> you, anyone get a uh, number for Geek Squad here? Possibly. <laughs> I want my iPad. Yeah, I'm not seeing this work, man. <laughs> All right, I think we caught it. Awesome. Possibly? Please? It's coming. We're good. We're good. Oh, Fail. Happened, Nick? This is what I get for letting him use a Mac. What happened to it just working? Yeah, you, you might want to try rebooting here. <laughs> yeah, maybe if we put the you know, allow any Apple, possibly. Apparently it can for proje uh, affect projectors too. Is there a talk about that later? VGA viruses? I kind of like it. Logan. There it goes. <laughs> 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 that was great. <laughs> Being the Mac user. <laughs> so it works and we can't even get video, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for letting him help write code. Which one? <laughs> 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 
I don't know. I messed around with it last night. <laughs> oh, man. Did it come out or something? The gods of live demos are not happy. Did you, wait, did you see our black? The black, black. This is a classic example of it just not working. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hook up the other one, man. I guess we'll just keep moving with the slides. Come on, I want to show this thing. It's awesome. No, 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 just, just, just to make sure it's not your... Just to give you guys something to do. Come on, I want to show this off. And they blame it on us. This is this gets oh. Uh, Yay! We can clap for him. He made it work. Yeah, it's all good. Possibly. So, you know, we pop open our browser. Oh, and we won't fail. Awesome. Hopefully this will work now. No, no. But a VGA virus with rules. No, I like it. Definitely not. Let's pop the box. Fail. <laughs> Possibly, maybe. All right, forget it. Boo. All right, so I promise you, after some absolutely epic fail, where's like the start from this slide? You own this thing. How do you not know how to use it? I like it. Stealing that for future use. All right. So, after much failure, much to my chagrin, let's go through a quick recap. Clients, still a very, very easy target. Wireless deauth rules, I swear they work. It is the new sliced bread. Loads and loads of fun. Great for facilitating attacks for man in the middle and client control. Management frame of use is still a very viable attack vector. I'm going to flip to the next one there for me. All right. A few shout-outs to our friends. Tuna had to put it at the bottom. Yes, you did. Your bad code, you know. And that's fish sticks. All right. I promised I would plug Pen2. He I think promised Pen2 me brought an e-build in the CD. He's, <laughs> yep, that's exactly. That's what I get for using Pen2. Come on. So he's doing a fire talk over at Wilson at 845. He's I promise cool in stuff. two weeks we'll have, we'll have this all working in Pen2 and we'll increase the user base by double, maybe two. And, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> so, right, cool. at this point, I'm sure you guys all want to know, we are releasing... We are releasing Which the code for this. It? I'm going to go ahead... And, Yes, I promise you, it will work for you. We're going to go ahead, we're going to release it to Informer. They've got a nice table over here, iHack Charities. I'll leave it up there for two weeks. After that, there'll be a nice little blurb on the Aircrack NG website about where you can actually go out and down it, download it. 
But talk to the informer people. They do good work. And I should have the code base up a little bit later today when I can find uh, secure internet tubes to use. Do we have any questions at this point? I'm sorry? Absolutely, I'll write you some rules. <laughs> and we'll do the demos over at the fire talks later. I'm sorry? Did I get Aircrack's permission to Epic Fail? Yes, yes I did. Because you write bad code. Yeah. Do we have any other questions? Possibly. Let's see here with the lights. Yes, no. I'm sorry, what do what? The fun rules were set up for the, the Mac of the fun so that we would basically deny access to anyone except for to the fun. So um, what that allows you to do is it allows you to take out the internet for like a room or a con and then direct the mouth through you. And that's where the good man in the middle happens. I'll explain, if we have some time over at the fire talks later, I'll kind of break it out for you guys. Um, but, you know, and that's... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Exile, that's a nice snowcock you got going on over there. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, you will pay for that. You will pay. We'll find a nice girl and uh, you'll give her a blue uh, something. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Did everyone at least have fun? <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. It's right, the least it I easy. can ask for. All right. Let's get this fail off the stage. Yeah, let's get the fail off the stage here. Let's get everyone else up. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be failing all week. Drinking pursue. Here.